Oh, welcome to another episode of Steel Studio Podcast. My name is Rick Mooney. Mike and I will be doing several more videos before we get back at it with our weekly shows and training camp. We have the Hall of Fame coming up. Very exciting year. Please like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. We love the support. It's been great. And as Steeler fans, father and son, we really enjoy doing this. Even if we don't get anything out of it other than just talking Steelers with you guys. That's what it's about. Before we get started, uh, we're going to do player profiles now of some of the player, current players on our team. And I want to mention some friends of mine, the Dotson family. That's Kevin Dotson's family. Um, his, his mom has a uh, Don't Settle line of clothing. It's called Don'tSettle1.com. Check it out. Uh, they sent us some shirts and wristbands, and they're awesome. And none of us should settle. None of us should settle. And I think... Uh, you can be the best you can be in life, and that's the message that they're sending. It's really awesome stuff. Good people, good people. And another player, I think, a player on his team is not going to settle this year, and he's going to have a bust-out year even bigger is Eric Ebron. Eric Ebron, for some reason, is one of the most underrated tight ends in the league, in my opinion. He's a great re uh, receiver. I think he plays, can really separate the defense, and... Uh, I think for some reason he gets a, ba a bad rap because he was drafted so high and wasn't the best tight end in the league his first few years. He was drafted number one overall by the Lions in the 10th pick in the 2014 draft. He's 6'4", 250 pounds, ran a 4'6", He played his first four years with the Lions and two with the Colts before signing with the Steelers last year. He had his best season in 2014. Uh, 18 when he had 66 receptions and 12 touchdowns. Last year with the Steelers, he had 56 receptions and 5 touchdowns, which puts him in the top 10 for 2020. Now, that's not too bad considering no preseason, not much time with Ben, and everything going on with COVID. And it was just a crazy year. He did have seven catches in the playoff loss to the Browns, and he had five or in a couple of other games last year. <clears throat> I think he can also be in the top five again this year. Look for him to have at least 10 touchdowns this year. As I said, with a full preseason with Ben. And now we have another weapon on the other side with Pat Fryermuth that people are going to have to account for. Eric is probably not the best blocking tight end in the league. But he's a big guy and he can get in the way. I mean, he can really be a good receiver. So that's Eric Ebron. I want you to sit back and enjoy his highlights. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. That's how you beat. 